Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel and my series, my design series where I am creating a brand, but I decided to kind of expand it so we can go more into detail about lots of different aspects. Um, we're creating a skincare brand. It's called Amarus. I'm bad at pronouncing it. Well, yes, we know. <laughs> and if you have not seen episode one where I create my logo design, go check that out now. And let's get on with episode two. There's so much to cover in this whole series. I'm literally chaotic and so excited about it. Um, follow me on Instagram. Check out how you can donate to my channel below or become a patron. Um, that's always linked. So let's talk about packaging design. I'm really excited because I've actually never really gone in depth on packaging design on my channel. So this is kind of the video for that. So let's jump right in honestly okay i have a reference box that i am using it is the rare beauty lip product that i bought um it's a lip balm so i figured this could kind of be our reference photo and reference packaging so what i did with the packaging was i opened the box completely flat so like unglued where it was stuck together laid it flat in my scanner and then scanned it in so we could have a picture of it for the actual like tracing and making our package. So all I did really was scan this in and it was pretty simple. I just have JPEGs on my little flash drive and we're gonna get to work now. And what we're actually gonna do is use the pen tool to trace this object. Now, there can be ways to do it, maybe quicker. A lot of people are like, image trace, image trace. That's not really my thing <laughs> um, because I really wanna get technical with this and trace it to the best of my abilities. So I can use that as like its own digital mock-up kind of thing to show the packaging in the final form and then also use this for actually printing packaging. Okay, so let's Let's get going with copying this and using the pen tool to create a shape. Instead of using black, I always like to use just a contrasting color that I can see while I do this so I can just work quicker. I like to hold down shift when I do this so that my lines are very even. So when I go straight across or straight up and down, I'm completely straight up and down. So holding shift helps. If you're having trouble with the image itself too, you can always take a look at the actual packaging up close and just using that as your reference point to make sure you're getting all those ridges and little things right. Okay, so now you have outlined your object and we're also going to make some indent lines to where those folds would be in the package. I'm gonna make these lines smaller just to show that they are fold lines. That's the outside lines, those are the fold lines, and this is basic packaging. I mean, figuring this out is not too hard and it can be a lot of improvisation. Like you don't have to be exactly perfect, um, especially when we're keeping this part a digital mock-up. It's also going to inform our actual printed version, but I'm going to do that to scale so we can set up it for printing. So this shape looks great for our reference point and let's get started on our actual design that's going to go on the product box. Now, I know I'm using a Rare Beauty box and maybe you guys will think I'm copying a little bit too much, but I've wanted to do the handwriting style. If you guys saw the first episode, we have chosen our logo, but we've also chosen two typefaces to use in the project and I'm going to use them. Um, this was a big inspiration for me in this project, but it's definitely not the exact direction I'm going in. So let's create, let's use the logo, let's use it all. Okay, so beginning with a new artboard, just because I really want to keep this prototype, but let's get going into making it like really what it's going to look like. And we're going to fill it into like a orangey, beigey color so we can just get that going. These again are still the folds, so I'm going to keep them in the blue. Um, but look at that, like it's really looking like a real 
box, which I think is so cool. So here is our logo, which we're going to scale down tremendously. Um, it has to fit on basically like one side of the box. So actually we're gonna flip this so it's sideways. And again, using this reference um, box like for design is really gonna help because it shows me like the layers of where things are going to be. So like this is the front of the box, the facing part of the box. And then if you were to fold it back together, obviously when it was a box, one side is a front, one side is another front, and then they're technically like the sides and then the parts that are tucked away and the parts that are the lid. Like, it's nice to just look at it and reference it so we can see like where things are really gonna go. So if the parts with the long lid and bottom flap, so these parts right here on the screen, um, if those are the front of the box, we're going to want our logo and everything to be right there. And this would be for like any type of like skincare thing. I'm thinking like a little eye cream or a lip balm or something that would go in this small box. Um, I just figured this would be a great reference point for everything. So I'm even gonna make it a little smaller and I'm just gonna start playing around with where to put all the designs. So instead of doing a screen recording, I thought I would actually show my screen, um, but I didn't want to leave you completely in the dark with just a montage of designing, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm doing here. I decided to make a fake little barcode. Um, obviously, this is not a real product, so it's fine for me to do that. I'm just filling in some things on the packaging that are just like things you would need on an, a real packaging. So I decided to do the little like shelf life thing, um, a little cruelty free symbol you'll see, and just like the actual weight of the product, like things that are really on a product. I wanted it to look professional and more realistic than just kind of fake and have like a fake little design on it. So I was really trying to think of like product design and what needs to go on packaging for consumers. So hopefully that explains what I'm doing here and just showing you my design process in general. Okay, so it's the next day. My camera battery was dying. I had a lot more to do on the packaging. I edited a few things and I want to do a little bit more. So I've actually changed some of the things that I brought in. So I just edited this recycling thing that I brought in. I changed it into a vector and kind of tweaked the shape a bit. So it's more mine. Obviously it is still an image that I use. And then I'm adding this white strip here just so it's you know, clear that it's the place where it's getting like stuck together, not the outside of the box. Um, that's the part that gets folded in. So I'm just trying to like remind myself for printing. Now is the part where we actually set up the package for printing. So we obviously have a file, but it's not to scale. So I'm measuring our reference package for the actual size and just getting all the dimensions so I can bring that into Illustrator and actually make it print size. So what I'm doing now is setting up just a regular piece of printer paper which is the size I need because this is a very small package. Um, if you need a bigger package, you're gonna have to print on different size paper. So 
that's how I'm setting it up um, with the size that I'm actually printing on. I'm gonna bring in my package, which as you can see is already way off in terms of actual size. <laughs> It's way bigger, um, but now we're going to set it up to the measurements that we need to print. Also, these guidelines I'm going to move. Yes, very sad because we can't have them in an actual box, <laughs> um, which I know they give us the guide of where everything's gonna go, but I can figure that out once printed. So basically this is four inches across and this way and then up and down from the tallest tabs it's a little bit over six inches so we're just going to measure it that way on here and just get it to where it's supposed to go so yes it looks tiny but we're going to do a test print and then at the beginning of the next episode we're actually going to get it printed and put together for our marketing stuff okay so test print i have a terrible terrible printer but basically here's the test print and i think it actually looks really good um it when you line it up with the reference photo <laughs> or like reference package we've been working with it literally perfectly matches which is great um so that means we know it's going to be the right size and when i actually get it printed on very nice paper that's going to be very box like like cardstock it's going to be perfect and we can just cut this out with an exacto knife We'll do that in the next episode though. Okay, so that was the entire packaging design. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, Even if it was a little bit chaotic, um, it felt a little chaotic for me, but <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps my channel and I hope you enjoyed this first like talk about packaging design. It was so fun. Um, I actually forgot how much I loved it. So this was a fun refresher. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Ring the bell to get notified when I upload. And we'll see you later in the third episode where we're going to get into more stuff, printing the actual real packaging, putting it together, and marketing photos and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. Okay, I'll see you. Bye!